Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna turn a pin like this into a pin like this. This is a two-step process of using a, I'm gonna use in this case a grinding wheel with a, a D-bit grinder. Um, this has diamond abrasive on it. And I have this attached to a grinder, benchtop grinder. And the other tool is gonna to be a rotary tool. I'm going to be using this Proxin one, and this has a collet, and I have the smallest collet in there that can take a pin-sized shaft. I'll try and see if I can get this next one better than this one, which I showed in the previous video, but usually this is kind of a hit or miss thing because you can't really check it until you take it off. If you put it back in and try and do the polishing, it's going to be off axis, and it's going to, it's going to produce a wobble when you're trying to uh, do the final sanding and it's gonna you're not gonna get a nice conical shape so first thing I got to do is take the head of the pin off I have it in the tool here and so I'm just gonna use the uh, grinder to take that off So the head is taken off now and it's just has a little bit of a taper on it and then that way I can flip it around in the collet. So the pin is now flipped around and that's how that looks and if I give this a spin you'll see that it's not rotating very well in there. It's hard to tell because of the blur of the camera. So grinding the taper on this, it's uh, you got to be looking down this way and it takes a bit of time because you got to try and line it up because it's a very it's a very like a I don't know one one degree or so so and you want to go easy because if you're too aggressive like these wheels are just gonna take this pin down to nothing and you're not gonna have any material so here I go So here's the results after grinding, and if I run this, you'll notice that everything stays nice and concentric. So I'll uh, show some video of what just the raw grind looks like under the microscope. Uh, you can really tell that it's really gouged out, and it uh, like it looks fine from your naked eye, but under the scope, it's it's another story. And, it's not really, at least for what I'm using, it's not really usable for that. So for cleaning up the grinding marks, I'm gonna be using this emery cloth. So for getting the alignment of the paper to the needle, uh, when it's running, it's gonna leave some uh, debris on the, on the paper and you use that to adjust your angle. And as I'm going, I'm, I'm pulling back. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to I don't want to pull forward because the pinhead of this thing it is quite sharp, and if I gouge into the paper, I'm just going to take that the sharp point off instantly, and I don't want to do that. So here's the results after the sandpaper and like it, it looks shiny but ultimately we have to look under the microscope to see how it actually looks like. Alright so under the microscope starting from the top and going down the top one is the original pin that I used on the first video and I use that to make a hole. Uh, the one underneath that is uh, right off the grinder without any sanding so you can see it's very jarry and very rough 
And then underneath that one is the one sharpened on this video and has a nicer fine polish. And then the very bottom one is a raw pin that's that I just took it out of the drawer. You'll notice that the pin I used on the first video, I've already used it to produce a couple of holes and already the tip of it's already sheared off. And it's sheared off and kind of bent as you can see. The pin that doesn't have any grinding on it, you can see that it's been blunted on the end for from some use, I'm not sure what. And it looks like there's a piece of skin or something on it as well. So I went ahead and used that pin to pierce some aluminum. Uh, in this case, I used an aluminum pop can. And up close, you can see the hole looks pretty good. It is, it's not perfectly circular, but it's pretty close. Here's the pin I used. And you'll notice when I zoom in, the tip of the pin head is broken off. And that is because the first hole that I tried to make the material, it uh, sheared off when I was pressing down and it made the start of a hole and then it sheared off, bounced, and, and then it made a little mark on the material. And then what I did after that was I used that same pin head to make the hole that we were just looking at. And yeah, it maybe if the pin was sharper, then it probably would have gone through. I noticed in the previous video that the pin head that was sharpened was not it was kind of dented off to the side slightly, so maybe that contributed to it uh, shearing off. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this interesting, and I will see you guys in the next video.